Human beings are inherently social creatures wired to seek connection, share experiences and build relationships. However, in the midst of our natural inclination towards companionship, there exists a paradoxical phenomenon, a subset of individuals who find themselves averse to being around people. While the majority thrives in social settings, a significant portion struggles with feelings of discomfort, anxiety, or even disdain in such situations. In this video, we delve into the intricate waves of human psychology to explore the 10 reasons why some individuals hate being around people. At the heart of this phenomenon lies the distinction between introversion and extroversion. Introverts tend to drive energy from solitary activities, often feelings drained in the presence of large groups. They may prefer deeper, one-on-one -on -one interaction and these preferences can lead to a perceived discomfort in larger social settings. Social anxiety is a prevalent psychological condition that can lead to a strong aversion to social interactions. People with social anxiety often fear judgment, embarrassment or negative evaluation by others, causing them to avoid social situation altogether. The sensory overload associated with crowded or noisy environments can be overwhelming for young individuals. condition known as sensory processing sensitivity can lead to heightened emotional responses and discomfort in social situations where multi stimuli are present the fear of rejection is a fundamental human emotion that can contribute to a dislike of social interactions individuals who have faced repeated rejection or have low self-esteem might develop a defensive mechanism against such situation to protect themselves from potential emotional harm. Negative past experiences such as bullying, betrayal or hurtful relationships can lead to a reluctance to engage with others. These experiences create emotional scars that can manifest as a deep-seated apprehension of forming new connections. Some individuals have a genuine preference of solitude and find solace in their own company. They often engage in creative or intellectual pursuits that require focused attention leading to a sense of fulfillment without the need for constant social interaction. Social and societal pressures can influence one's attitudes towards social interaction. In cultures that prioritize individualism and personal space, individuals may be more inclined to seek solitude and privacy potentially leading to a dislike of being around people. Constantly engaging with others' emotions, whether through empathy or active listening, can be emotionally draining for some individuals. This exhaustion can make them prefer limited social interaction to converse their emotional energy. In a world driven by superficial interaction and digital connections, some people yearn for genuine, meaningful relationships. The absence of such connection can lead to a sense of isolation and consequently a disdain for superficial social gathering. 
introverted individuals often have a penchant for deep introspection and thinking. They might find social interaction distracting for their inner musing, leading to a preference for solitude. Different communication styles. Misalignment in communication styles can cause discomfort. For instance, those who are more reserved might feel overwhelmed by those who dominate conversations, leading to an aversion to group settings. Individuals who have hobbies or interests that are best enjoyed in solitude can find it challenging to engage in group activities that don't align with their preferences. Constantly comparing oneself to others in social settings can erode self-esteem and confidence, contributing to a dislike of being around people. Navigating social cues, interpreting body language, and maintaining a conversation all required cognitive effort. Ultimately, one of the most significant reasons why some people hating being around others is need for solitude to recharge and rejuvenate. In understanding the reasons behind this paradox, it's important to acknowledge that disliking being around people doesn't equate to antisocial behaviors or misanthropy. Rather, it's a complex interplay of personality traits, past experiences, and psychological factors that contribute to this aversion. It's essential to respect individual preferences and boundaries while also encouraging healthy social interactions. Understanding your personality traits and boundaries can help you choose social interactions that align with your preferences. Choose quality over quantity in your social interaction. Focus on building deeper connection with a smaller circle of people. Communicate your boundaries to friends and family. Let them know when you need alone time to recharge. Practicing mindfulness can help manage anxiety and overwhelming emotions in social situations. If social anxiety or other mental health concerns are at play, consider seeking professional help to develop coping strategies. In conclusion, the aversion to being around people is a multifaceted issue that can stem from various sources, including introversion, anxiety, past experiences, and personal preferences. By understanding and addressing these factors, individuals can find ways to navigate social interaction more comfortably and maintain a balanced and fulfilling social life. It's important to recognize that everyone's needs are unique and valid, and fostering a sense of understanding and empathy can lead to a healthier social dynamics for all.